Hello guys, so I am on my way home from my vacation. Uh, so one of the stops I just came across um, this to show you quickly in a bit. So by the looks of the things, it does look like this is basically a test testing station type of vibe. But then you just mount them on the stands and, the stand. and then you start lighting it because. So before they put it into the, the actual body, they first put it onto this whole little unit over here. Yeah. And then I assume they test it, etc. That's more like play, make sure it starts. Yeah, make everything right. working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What engine is this? I do see it's a Toyota. Is it for what bucky specifically? Is no, the... no, this is originally it came in Lexus, it came in the okay, Land Cruises, not with us. But I see the, the it has the, uh, the Toyota badge in it, so yeah, yeah, yeah. out of what specific, out of what uh, body does it come out of? You don't know. The what the outer body? Most of the time it's Lexus. Lexus. Yeah, Most yeah. of the time Lexus. Yeah, yeah. In uh, the, the bucket form or is it in a car form? No, this is in a car. Okay, so it's like the... Uh, is or one of those? No, not with us. Overseas. Overseas, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we don't really have this engine. Do you know the engine number? at the same garage I found a station that actually supplies electricity for electricity cars um, in South Africa this isn't a usual thing so it does seem kind of odd wouldn't say odd but more rare in other words this is also a Jaguar uh, electric station not quite sure if it can be used for any other cars this is however my first encounter with a station like this so what I also do assume is that you probably have to pay inside um, the petrol station and then basically or use a little car to scan over here I'm not quite sure exactly how it works like I mentioned this is my first encounter with um, a device or a, a station like this kind of cool even as the old blueprinting on the floor so basically you know that this is specifically for uh, electric cars it does seem like this space for two cars however there's only uh, one to say pump but in this case it should probably be called a plug so one electric plug it's extremely cool mentioned before in South Africa or in Cape Town there's not much electric cars so this is 
something extremely new to me just thought I'd share it with you guys uh, this is however a normal petrol station this is a usual stop from our holiday as well so this is a BP garage If you're watching this, this video is recorded much, much, much later than um, the prior video. Um, it's probably, I think today is like the 25th or the 24th of November already. So, I don't know if you guys noticed um, the guy at um, the shop I bought the parts by. Um, he didn't actually want me to record um, any videos at um, his place. Um, so out of respect, I'm maybe not going to mention his uh, link in the description. However, he did. We did have a convo. We did have a convo as to why he did not really want to make the video. Um, he is not someone that actually sells parts separately. They are actually a company that supplies other shops as well. So uh, if you guys do uh, or are interested in actually supplying um, parts, I can maybe link you up with his number etc but he actually does not actually sell uh, the parts separately I do kind of know him through someone else as well so that is why I was actually able to get the parts that I did get so in this um, short video I'm just going to basically show you or reveal uh, what is upcoming for uh, the EG and the parts that we did buy um, I'm just going to set you guys up on maybe a table so I can just explain um as to um what the parts are and how we are going to install it going forward maybe what tools we are going to use as well um and then also um four to six weeks later Yo guys, welcome back to the vlogs. So as you guys can see, I have returned from my vacation safely. It was a good trip, a much needed trip. So yeah, we are getting back to uh, the vlogs. Um, today we do have planned um, to get some hardware for the parts that I would like to fit on the car. Um, I haven't decided as to where I'm going to fit um, the ads onto the car yet. I will explain that in future. We will also be visiting my friend Dane. He did mention he has an EG that he's busy with, as well as our Hyundai i10. I think he's sp spraying the i10 silver. So I'd just like to have a look at that and maybe just catch up with him as well. Then also, my cousin did mention that he has fitted the, the rear coil overs. Um, so we won't be doing that. However, he has asked me to just check the ride height if I'm happy with the ride height. So we might just lower it or make it a little bit higher. And then also he is also not working today so he'll be riding along with us um, today also the hardware that we need to fit the parts i'm not quite sure if i'm going to be able to get it however if i do manage to find it we'll be fitting those parts today so let's get to it
Dane, the only issue that I have here with this now is now, you see this side here, the what do you call the strut tower, there's enough space for me to put it over here, so it can obviously fit into this gap. And I don't want to cut this away, so I want it to fit exactly there. But now the thing is, with this fuse box over here, it's gonna go straight into here. So this one line over here, this one wire I have to redirect, or maybe just push it through the side. Do you understand? Because it's going to go exactly here by the strut tower, which means I'm gonna have to cut away this. So that is the scenario now. If not, I want to maybe fit it in the rear because the rear is maybe easier and the rear will maybe be, um, wouldn't say test fit, but I mean, if we're fitting it in the rear, it's gonna be easier than I at least have an idea of how to fit this. Yes, this does basically bend, so it will maybe be able to fit the bonnet because once the bonnet is low down, the bonnet does stand in an angle like that. So I don't see any issue that we can have besides this little fuse box over here. On that side, there will be no issue. So, my idea was basically to relocate these wires over here, just move it. Um, but we've decided to do a battery relocate, so the whole battery will be removed, as well as the whole fuse box. Fuse box sorry. So what we're going to do is extend these wires and run it inside. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a, a wire tuck, which means this is going to go inside and this is going to go um, in the rear. Like we did mention in the previous vlog, um, so that we have enough space for um, the quick latch to actually go into the strut tower. So, uh, in the meanwhile, while we are going to get the credit card before uh, the battery relocate as well as um, the fuse box relocation, um, we might just fit this in the rear as, we didn't say as a test run, but um, just to test for, to do, to do my first quick latch um, uh, install. So then when I do um, have the correct space for the strut tower, I will then be able to do the front as well. So I'm just going to show you in the rear, it's much easier to actually do. Um, basically, we just have to remove this. I am going to maybe mount it over here, um, over here. Maybe something where it's more a flat surface. This does seem like a bit of an angle. Um, However, this does seem also a bit thick, so I'm not quite sure if that thing is going to fit in this space or in this little circle space over here. Um, so that we might just do today. It also depends on where um, the location of the quick latch is going to be as well. And then also, these dudes did come to change uh, the windscreen or to remove the windscreen of the EG that I've mentioned earlier. So I'll just show you the guys that in the pit as well. Hey Oscar. Straight man's dog. previously in the vlog um, the sole was damaged over here I'll just put up a picture of the damage uh, Dane sprayed both these doors looks pretty good however uh, it does still need to be sanded there is a bit of orange peel and then also on the EG uh, we managed to remove the rear window the reason for the rear window being removed is there is a little bit of rust here that Dane needs to fix and then once that's fixed, all fixed up, we'll just put the rear window back in again.
Okay guys, so I just made it home. I uh, just wanted to explain to you guys what we came up with. So, like we decided, we're going to fit the quick latches in the rear. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do that today because I just figured out something. So basically, these latches are going to be removed and I'm going to fit the quick latch in um, this little gap over here. So it'll fit in there. So the whole idea with this is, I assume, I'm going to have to fit this first because this is the main component as um, I actually want it to look very nice on uh, the rear uh, boot lid. So that is my main concern. Uh, this can be mounted easily here. Um, like I mentioned, this can actually um, be on a slight angle, so it's fine. This can be mounted anywhere over here. There's the ample amount of space for that. However, the problem that we came up with or figured out was uh, this little wire over here, which will basically light up the rear lights as well as the rear brake light over here. This is going to be a problem. I kind of opened this up already. Um, so what I do plan on doing, I was going to chop it up in the middle and maybe put a little switch here. But I figured uh, if I just open this little grommet thing, I'll just show you guys. So basically the cable's pretty long here on this side. So what I plan on doing is because it's four cables, I have to cut this up and then get an adapter or uh, something that will basically clip the four cables back into place however they do have to be separate um, because obviously they can't be touching so tomorrow we are going to find um, an adapter or something that will fit on here that will then allow me to basically remove the hinges on both sides and then be able to remove the whole um, the whole bootlet so once the bootlet is basically off I have enough um, space and enough um, how can I say it will be more comfortable for me to actually fit uh, the latches. I do see here's a curve over here. So I do plan on actually fitting it right over there. Be in mind that this piece over here can hit the furthest corner over there. So it will basically be sitting something like that. I can even move it further. Um, then also, um, I assume that uh, the latch part, let me just remove this quickly. The last part that will be remaining um, will basically fit right over here. So if I do put it down, um, if I put this down over here, it basically falls onto this little space over here. So this little space is kind of um, bent. I do plan on maybe bending it, or like I did mention, this can stand an angle, so it can stand like this or this. So that will be fine with me. Uh, let me just show you what I meant. So if I just close it, um, see this point over here, before exactly uh, where I mentioned, over here. So what I also want to explain to you guys is that when we do fit the battery rocket, the battery is going to sit in this position. Um, there is enough space for a bigger battery, so my friend did suggest uh, when I do get the battery rocket or the box that it comes in, I might go for a bigger one. The reason for that is you mentioned that uh, if I run a bigger battery, I would not have trouble with any earthing. So basically if I run a smaller battery, I would then have to put um, additional earthing on the motor, I think from the body to the motor, the head, sorry, and then also one on the body to the gearbox, if I'm not mistaken, and there's another one you mentioned as well. You will just assist me with that um, for, in the meanwhile, we are going to run the smaller battery and also um, the battery or the cable will basically run through here and go out the other way and then just basically run down at the bottom through the mat and then just go through the firewall uh, the reason for the battery also being on the side is because I do want to I would like to connect basically the kill switch as well so that is something that we'll be doing so yeah because um, I don't really want to mount in front and because there's actually no space in front to mount the quick latches because of the fuse um, the battery rotate like we mentioned we're all going to do 
is now became actually necessary for us to do because of the quick latches going to be fitted um, on the strut tower so yeah this battery will be, be relocated we'll have a little bit more space another option was maybe take the fuse out and maybe just move it into that place but we might just um, fit the fuse box under the dashboard as well so that is the plans the upcoming plans for the eg hope you guys do like what we have came up with so this video was supposed to be an install video unfortunately we did come across a few things that need to be done before we actually do that um, so i'm just going to pop this back again um, hope you guys do like uh, the content that i have came up with today i do again apologize for not being able to install anything um, today but i will be able to install the rest of the parts tomorrow so please guys do like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace